Hello and welcome to Indoor Games. My name is Casey and today we will be starting our Sith Inquisitor playthrough of Star Wars The Old Republic. I know interesting amazing things are about to happen. We all know it to be true. We all know it. We're just going to be here to have some fun. Enjoy it. At least I hope everybody does. If you're here at the beginning, I hope you stick around for the whole thing. That would be great. I'm going to read this thing right here in front of me now. Just so we know what's up. The power of the dark side grows. This Sith Empire has won a major victory against the Galactic Republic and its Jedi Guardians, conquering and enslaving many new worlds. With a fragile peace in place, the Empire stand, sends its slaves to the ancient Sith strong world of Korriban, hoping to unearth relics of vast power that can be used to dominate the galaxy. One slave, Osno, that's my stupid name that I made up for this, powerful with the Force, has been released from servitude, from servitude and forced to master the dark side or the dark arts of the Sith or Die Trang. So I'm forced to master the dark arts of the Sith or Die Trang. I have no choice, I guess, because I'm a slave. Not for long, though. Not for long, you know why? Because they're gonna mistakenly give me a lightsaber. And that'll be the worst thing that they ever do. I also know how to use the Force, I'm pretty sure, so that'll probably help me along the way. We shall see, and we shall find out. Let's get into it. Here we go. Back again. What's up, everybody? Hey, that was mean. What's your problem? That guy seemed really happy to see him. I think they know each other. Ah, the last one to arrive is finally here. Hello. I hope you don't think you're special. It would be a shame if freedom went to your head. Or if you somehow got the idea, you didn't need to pass your trials to become Sith. Lord Zash has tasked me with sorting through you refuse to find one worthy of being her apprentice. And I intend to do just that. Zash? Who is Zash? Is she like somebody from, uh, like, Pokemon or something? It just, it's a weird name. Like, Ash and Zash. Like, maybe that's why I thought that. Who is this Zash? That's Lord Zash to you, slave. Okay. She's a Dark Lord of the Sith and more important than you'll ever be. Now the rest of you gutter trash already know your trial. Get going while I bring our latecomer up to speed. Watch your back, friend. And don't worry. It'll be alright. He can't kill us all. I mean, he might try, so I'm going to be careful. He has a lightsaber, I'm pretty sure. I don't want to mess with him. Well, I don't have one myself. And I'm going to go with number one, because how can I not? It'll be funny, we all know. Or I'm actually, I'm going to go with number three. We could take him. I'll attack from the front. You attack from behind, and we'll see how he fares. Uh, yeah. Looks like you can handle yourself. Now, slave, for your trial. There's a hermit named Spindrol who lives in the tomb a of a gentle hall in the Valley of the Dark Lords. Spindrol's a lunatic, but Lord Zash sees him as some kind of prophet. Once you find him, he will test you. I get to go see a hermit, huh? Is it a turtle hermit? I sure hope it's a turtle hermit. Those are the best kind. He'll probably be wearing some kind of Hawaiian shirt and some shorts. And he'll have the baldest head you've ever seen. 
of course he'll be perverted. He'll be a he'll be a turtle hermit. That's what they do. If I have to go, I guess I will. Fine. I will seek the insane hermit in the incredibly dangerous tomb and take his little test. Yeah. But there, you know your task. Spindrel lives in the tomb of Ajunta Paul in the Valley of the Dark Lords. Don't keep Spindrel waiting. Looks like Slave. I could ramp off of his hair, doesn't it? I could just take a... <laughs> Looks like a jump. Yeah, I don't like that guy. He's calling me a slave and stuff. That's mean. That is some mean, mean things happening there. Maybe once I get a little bit of power, I'll make him mine. No, don't, don't do that. Then you're no, you're no, you're just like him. You gotta be better. Better than him. I'll try. But he has a lightsaber and I don't. That goes a long way. The hell is this thing? Oh, it's a probe droid. It looks like a projector from school. Doesn't it? Don't you think so, buddy? I do, I think so. But I guess you don't care about my opinion, that's okay. Hello. Coming through. I feel like I've been here before. Maybe it's because I have. I contemplated playing a Jedi, but they're just so freaking boring, man. Hello, sir. Excuse me, Acolyte. Sergeant Corman, 5th Infantry Company, Corriban Regiment. Can I... Can I talk to you? Permission granted. Speak freely, Sergeant. Thank you. You're one of the slaves Harkin brought in on the last transport, right? Quick, quick call me that. prove yourself to the bloodthirsty overseers? Something like that. Prove myself or die, apparently. Well... Here's your chance to not only show off for the overseers, but start building ties to the Imperial military as well. I'm here commanding a hard target mission to exterminate claw slugs in this tomb. They're horrific things. I can see them. Mouths bigger than your head. Yeah, I can see them. I've em. lost three squads of good men fighting them. I can see they that too. They packs. They just, <laughs> they'll swallow a man whole. So what? Death is merely the final failure of the week. Yes, sir. But the mission is in danger of failing. Sending more men isn't the answer. The damn claw slugs breed so fast there's no way to wipe them out conventionally. So we started targeting their egg chambers. They went insane. We managed to get explosives to all of the you egg look chambers, insane. but the claw slugs were all over us before we could detonate them. I guess I'll finish the job, like I always do. Here we go. I mean, this is what they freed me for, right? Is to do the job that everyone can't do. Because they're incompetent and they suck. Sounds like you need some help. Don't underestimate those claw slugs, sir. They're, they're smarter than they look. Are you sure? Because you... Because you're not. <laughs> Why are you in such a battle stand? Wait, what's going on? Well, I guess they are right there. You gotta be ready. I mean, this guy... Is that why this guy feels so confident to just stand there and do nothing? Because you got here... You're right here protecting him? I get it now. Sure, I'll join your guild. Oh my goodness.
just to be polite, you know. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Oh, I'm enjoying this this class so much more already. <laughs> it gets a little old just playing the, the warrior class, you know? Just you're just swinging freaking lightsaber. It, it gets a little a little dull, a little boring. I have a lightsaber, but that's not as important on this character because I shoot lightning out of my hands. Maybe out of my ass. I don't know. We'll find out. I hope so. That'd be really cool. To shoot lightning right at my bum. Oh, that'd be terrifying. You'd be scared of a guy who could shoot lightning out of his butt. I mean, that'd be one thing if he could do it out of his hands, but would you really want to be killed by a guy, to be taken out by a guy. I need to stop saying that word, huh? You need to, to, to be taken out by a guy who shoot lightning out of his butt? Oh, I mean, that just sounds super embarrassing. Super embarrassing. I wouldn't want that to be me. Hey, dude, I did your job for you. I heard the explosions when you set off the charges. Yeah, it was an explosion. Standing, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what did I get here? I got a pair of pants. All right, I got a pair of pants. Did they ever... Let me see. All right, cool. Well, you know, you, you gotta do the polite thing. If somebody invites you to a guild and you want to join the guild, it, it, even if you're not a person who likes to talk and you just want to be in a guild, just be in a guild, you should at least say thanks. That's what I always do. I used to be a little more talkative about things, though, and do things, but I don't as much as I used to. What is this? Imperial Edict 936. Mercenaries have taken advantage of coarse lug infestation in the tomb of Magenta Powell. Oh, I was reading that. Who did that? I was trying to read that. You interrupted me. Leave me alone. I want to read this. The Goo Man down here wants me to see it. Mr. Goo Man, I'm here. Alright. Imperial Edict 936 mercenaries have taken advantage of coarse slug infestation in the tomb of a gentle Paul, stealing valuable artifacts from its depths. A situation wholly un unacceptable. Oh no. You are authorized to use deadly force to send these mercenaries a message that further desecration will not be tolerated. The task is dangerous. And hazard pay has been authorized. Wait, see me at the medical center upon completing your mission or your compensation. Sergeant Reichel, Reichel, one of those. Sure, I guess I do it. I'll do it, sir. I'm here. Might as well. Hmm, I don't want any of that. I gotta go this way. Hello, sir. I know that must suck to get struck by lightning three times in like a couple seconds. That doesn't sound good at all. 
I would not want to do that. Stupid slugs. If you're a slug, I apologize. I didn't mean to offend. I don't want those pants. Don't want them at all. Don't want them. They're so ugly, no one would want those. They make you cry when you see them. It's a brood watcher, hey? Whatever that is. That's when you're supposed to say, that, it's one of those, that, it's that thing. I don't want these pants either. I don't want them. I don't want them. Somebody else can have them. They're not for me. Hello. Oh my goodness, I didn't know you were there. But you are. I'm gonna stay in here for a second. There we go, I'm gonna shoot this. I mean, I would act a little faster if I saw somebody starting to do that. I mean, it'd take me a while. I'm just standing there getting shot in the face. And this is where I gotta go recover the artifacts. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Goodness me. Gotta do the little ones first. Get the little ones out of the way so you can deal with the big one. Important life lesson there. In many facets of life. He's a tomb looter. Where do you sign up for that job? Did you just hit me, you son of a... Thank you. Appreciate it. What in the hell is that? I like it, it's cool. Maybe that's a thing when you make a, uh, a a warrior class and you... I don't know what it is. It was cool though, I kinda liked it. Throwing lightning. Throwing it around. In your face. Knocking you down. Not over the place. I'm gonna jump over this. That used to be somebody's face. <laughs> What's going on in here? You guys having a party? If it is, it's a very boring party and I, I don't know if I want to be involved. What, who are you? What do you want? Spindrill? Of mind and matter. Oh, that's the name of the mission. <laughs> slave. Welcome to my humble Stop home. calling me slave. You are here for your trial, yes? Yes. Learn the ways of the Sith from a doddering old man in a tomb. Yep. And hopefully to return to your master with the mark of my approval. No, I just do this for fun. Actually, I just came to get some fresh air. 
Do you take me for a fool? I was bored. What are you talking no about? comes into these tombs for the sheer pleasure of it. I do. Not even me. Oh, no. oh, look at you. They come for power. Because they sense that these tombs hold secrets of the dark side. And they do. They? do. But before you can learn them, you must pass a trial of blood. Oh. Survive this. And I will teach you what I know. There will be blood. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that guy. Scary stuff. Oh no, they see me. Oh no. What do I do? Look, <laughs> it's a jack-o'-lantern man. They formed a circle around me. How ominous. Oh, I just I get to start first, eh? <laughs> I didn't mean to trust that, but I'm just gonna let it ride. Let it ride. Did you just try to hit me with a stick in the back of the head? You, sir, have no honor. You should have at least said like heads up or like four or something like four and just swung right at my head. I would have I would have appreciated that. That would have been acceptable. Oh, I didn't see you guys sitting there like something. Get out of my face. Oh, he's still going. Look at that. Is it because I'm technically in combat? Oh, it's because I did this. I'll leave that there for now. Why can't I do it? It's because you locked it. You big dummy. Excellent. These former acolytes wanted nothing more than to earn their second chance for glory by killing you. Well, they... Taking your place. I did that but to them. But your desire proved stronger. And their blood became the mantle of your victory. Ooh. Well done. Mickey Mantle? But you are not Sith yet. Peace I'm not. is a lie. There is only passion. That's a Through lie. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, power. Through power, victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. This is the Sith Code. Commit it to your heart, and you will have the strength to crush your enemies. You know Do what? you understand? I understand. I also notice that you guys become like blowhards and you just like to hear yourself talk and whine and moan and the more power you seem to get, the more you just won't shut up. I'm gonna say that. Shut up already. There is nothing that you can teach me that I don't already know, old man. Because I'm amazing. Then leave. Return to Harkon and nurture your hatred for him. And use cool. your fear of him to grow stronger. Grow stronger. He may raise his fist to strike, but it is Lord Zash who determines where the blow will land. Now I hope it's not me. And what if she tells him to strike me? If you do not already know the answer to that question, then you are not worthy of being Sith. Now, I go. Just... Leave me to my rest. I was just curious. He didn't have to yell at me. <laughs> what, what is this? What did this even... This is a coffin? You look tiny, bro. That's, that's definitely something that a guy doesn't want to hear from a girl. You look tiny, bro. <laughs> I, would, I would be sad if I heard that. As I'm sure most of us would be. Damn, you look tiny. <laughs> I could have done without you telling me that. <laughs> you 
Yeah, go take a seat right over here. There you go. My goodness, this is way more fun than the last, than uh, the warrior class. Maybe just because I played a lot of that. How's it going, guys? All right. I wanted to hit him. You wouldn't let me have it. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. I'm pressing the wrong one. That'll happen from time to time. Oh, I gotta get this guy. I can't. I gotta clear the room. Clear the room. Oh, I guess if I gotta clear the room now, it's you guys too. I don't think I was far enough. I mean close enough. I don't think I was close enough. You were definitely far enough to mess it up. Like you usually do. Hello. I'm lightning man. Oh. Oh, never mind. I'm, I'm going the correct way. It just looked like I wasn't on the map. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. What's crack a lacking? Oh, I gotta come over here and talk to this guy right here. How you going? How you going? I don't think that's what you're supposed to say. It's how you doing. I have taken care of your problem with the looters in the tomb. Ah, then ah. I assume my men are dead. Even so, you have done us a great service. Their loss is your gain, I suppose. Can I go? Are we finished? Yes, sir. You know, I think that's... I think... I think I've come to the conclusion. That's what I'm gonna, how I'm going to play this character. He's going to be a douche. <laughs> He's going to be a dick to everyone the entire time. Well, the last character I played, I chose the good choice and tried to be nice to everybody. I think this guy, I'm just going to choose just the douchiest choice every single step of the way. <laughs> I'm going to put this dress on real quick. My battle dress. Put on your battle dress. You look good in the battle dress. Well, I guess, you know, I, I guess that's what Scottish people did. Wore their kilts. They'd take out, put on their battle dress. I guess I technically am Scottish. Well, family tree, but I don't know anything about any of that. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Everybody. I have to let you know, I was once going the wrong direction, but I figured it out. It's this way. I don't think anybody cared. Hello. They didn't care either. What are you doing? To you look stupid right now. That's all I know. You got this dress on when you run. It looks, it looks dumb, bro. That's all I'm saying. You look dumb. Oh. Ah, the last one. Uh. Always the latecomer. Now we can see what the hermit thinks of you, slime. Hmm. Acolyte Cory. Step forward, please. Yes, Overseer. She's like, do I have you to? You are a weak, pathetic rodent, and even a lunatic like Spindrel can see this. My goodness. And that means... Hey. Ah! What's Meet that? our newcomer, Fawn Alt. This is Hello. real Sith strength, and he will tear you apart and crush your bones, slaves. Look on him. 
No connections left in the world but pure Sith blood. This, this is Lord Zash's future apprentice, not filth like you. I think he really likes that guy, like, a lot. Too much. And that guy standing next to him has a lot of dirt on his face. I don't know if anybody noticed. He needs to go wash up or take a shower or something. Or just go to a sink. And, or something, I don't know. I'm gonna go with the best answer I think possible here. Hello. Nice to meet you, Fawn. Hope Harkin treats you better than he treats us. Save your well wishes for someone who cares, slave. I don't like your Step voice. Step this way, slave. I want to speak to you privately. Oh. The rest of you no. get out of here. You know your trials. You too, Fawn. Spindrel awaits. Judging based on the things you no, were saying about him. To me. Spindrel is a lunatic. I don't want a private His damage. approval means nothing. You are filth, and you will die. Is that clear? I, actually, I think you're nothing. You think you scare me? You're nothing, and don't forget it. Okay, now, fine. Your second trial. What were we talking about? Lord Zash has requested a special trial for you, which you will no doubt fail. Go to Inquisitor Zinn in the jails. He will fill you in on the details. And most likely, hasten your demise. This isn't a trick, is it? The jails? He's not going to arrest me, is he? I don't want to see you again until you're back from the jails. That's all. I don't want to see you again ever. But, you know. And the more I hear Zash's name, the more it makes me think of, like, Zordon. You know what I mean? It makes me think of, uh... Power Rangers for some reason. I, I don't know why. Maybe there's a character with a similar name. That, that looks a little better. Than what, it was, than what I had on before. Oh no. Forgot she was there. I just, I don't know if I trust to leave her body here with this guy all alone. But... I'll get in trouble if I stay, so well, I guess I gotta get out of here. Here we go, run, run as fast as you can. Gotta go up here, I think. Oh, actually, here we go. Once again, I'm, I'm stupid and I'm going the wrong direction. I will announce it to everyone later. I'm sure they'll care. They'll be super like, no way. He went the wrong direction? I don't believe it. He's way too cool. To mess up like that. Are you Barris's cousin? Is it... Your name is Zen, eh? Like, Invader Zen? Look, everyone, it's Invader Zen. Acolyte. Hello. You've arrived. Yeah. And not a moment too soon. Hakan has given me very specific instructions. You were raised as a slave, but must discard those traits and learn to control others. And I have just the task for that end. Meet this driveling excuse for an acolyte. Hello. He will be your victim. What's going on here? What exactly does this entail? A short while ago, there was what we call... An unauthorized murder here in the academy. Is there such a, a thing as an authorized? Apprentices resulted in death. Interrogate him. Make him tell you who committed this crime at any cost. No problem. I can do that. I can absolutely do that. Excellent. Get to it then. I look forward to watching you work. Oh, you're one of them weird guys too, huh? All right. Your permit mission, you know, granted, you are allowed to watch. I normally don't like people watching, but this one time, because it's Invader Zim. Zin, I mean. You know. Plus, remember, I said I'm gonna be a douche. This whole playthrough, I'm gonna be a douche. Here we go. Please, don't hurt me. I don't know anything. You don't know anything? Well, that must suck. 
All right, I, I'm, I'm a douche, right? I'm your friend. Oh, I, I want to make sure that's not a, a life side choice. I don't want to pick very many of those. I'm your friend. Don't worry. It's all right, Aleph. I just want to talk. Yeah, right. I know what you want. And I'll tell you right now, I don't know anything. I'm your buddy. Come on, don't do this. You're only making this more painful for yourself. I have to tell you. You know how it is. I'm your Acolytes friend. Start bragging. Come on. You don't want to look bad. It was just a dumb boast. I didn't see anything. I really want to shock you. Come on, work with me, bro. I'm here to help. Why should I trust you? You can't help me. You can't protect me. Even if I did know something, I'd be dead. Or worse. Come on, I'm on your side. Look, if you don't want to talk to me, the Inquisitor will bring someone else in and they will make you talk. I want to help you. What? Why? I, I don't understand. Why don't you just torture me and get it over with? You heard him. You know, that's a good question. Ah! <laughs> Stop! Please! All right, I'll talk. You'll kill me, but I'll talk. The murderer is an apprentice named Esor Kayan. You have to protect me, or he'll kill me. It'll be okay, don't worry. I'm your friend, I'll protect you. You may be mistaken. Kayan's master is a dark council member. Might as well try fighting the Emperor himself. Kayan won't get so much as a Let's do it. But when Kayan finds out, he'll come after me. Kayan? Is Abel with him? Oh, Kayan. Kayan? It's an interesting name. Don't worry, it's okay. Not if I have any say in the matter. It's a nice thought, but I doubt it. Maybe you could persuade the Inquisitor to protect me. Nah. Unlikely though. It's not the Sith's way. Nah. He won't do it. <laughs> he wanted me to like torture the crap out of you there, bro. I was actually kinda nice to you, even though I said I wasn't going to be. You don't have to tell me I heard the name loud and clear, though I sorely wish I hadn't. S or Cain. Yep. Cain's master is a dark council member. I'd be a fool to oppose him. But anyway, your trial here is done. I will send my commendations to Overseer Harkin. You may return to him now. Do I have to? Done so soon? What, no more torture? Oh, but I was just getting started. I know, I know, it's so hard to stop once you've started. I know, right? Perhaps later, if you survive your trials. It has been most pleasant watching you work, Acolyte. Truly, I wish you the best of luck in your remaining trials. Thanks, weird guy. See you later, Invader Zen. Have a good one. You can yell as much as you want. I don't think anyone will care. What are you banging on that for? Nothing's gonna happen. Maybe it will. Keep banging. I don't know. I guess who am I to tell him what to do? Hello. How you guys doing? Watch this. Oh. You didn't. You you might not have seen it because uh, you were you know I was behind you, but it was amazing. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. I had been looking forward to cutting another one of you down, but it looks like I'll be spared the trouble. Unsurprisingly, Nylock has gone missing. Who? Also, unsurprisingly, Fon has passed his first trial. It's only a matter of time before he tramples you all underfoot. Nobody cares. I'll tear you apart where you stand, oh, slave. Your voice is annoying. Patience, Fon. An accident in the tombs is much more convincing. Now the lot of you know your next task, go. I want to speak to Fon and our latecomer. Now, slave. Zin says you handled yourself expertly, and as much as I find this difficult to believe, Lord Zash is satisfied with his evaluation. I am amazing. Undoubtedly, Zin helped you in some way. No. But you will not have his help on the next trial. Both you and Fon will have trials of intellect, trials that test your ability to apply your understanding of the Force to solve problems. You don't expect a slave to be a match for me in intellect. I've been trained under the greatest teachers. 
calm down. Frank. What does that matter? I certainly do not expect this slave to be a match for you. That's why you will have separate trials. Don't you worry about me. It's okay. I can handle anything Fawn can handle. You're only digging your own grave. Fawn, you will go to the library on the second floor of the Academy and translate the following texts for Lord Zash. Yes, Overseer. Slave. What? Deep in the ancient, monster-infested tomb of Marker Ragnos, there is a holocron filled with dark secrets and encased in a great stone monument. No one has figured out how to release the holocron from its stone prison in over a thousand years. You will bring this holocron to me, or you will die. So let me guess, I'm gonna go do the thing that no one's done in over a thousand years and you're still gonna think that I suck. Even though I've proven that I'm better than all of you, in over a thousand years. Sounds like fun, let's do it. Well, it beats going to the library, I suppose. Spoken like the idiot you are. You will bring yeah. back the holocron, or hope that the spirit of Marka Ragnos himself returns to end your miserable existence. Now go. I don't want to. I'm just gonna stand here in your office for the next 17 hours, staring directly deep into your soul. That's what I'm going to do. It'll be fun. You 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 like that idea, right? Bring me the holocron or don't bother coming back. Oh, okay. Okay. Jeez. Guys, a big old meanie. Big old meanie pants. And before we get into all of this stuff here going into wherever the place I gotta go which will be a whole thing so I'm gonna end this one here I truly hope everyone enjoyed themselves I know I did if you did please leave a like and subscribe and all that all that good stuff and all those things you don't have to if you don't want to but I, I'd be very much appreciated if you did And I guess now, there is only one thing left to say. Actually, there is one more. You gotta have a good day. Gotta have a good day. I almost forgot the most important thing. You gotta have a good day, because without a good day, you ain't got nothing. And now, there is only one thing left to say, and that is... Goodbye.